Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to address how to add radicals with binomials. Now, whenever you're adding radicals, it's kind of a difficult thing to do, especially when it has binomials or more, simply because, well, you'll see why. Now, suppose you have square root of 3x plus 1, and you want to add it with the square root of, let's just say, x minus 2. Now, as tempting as it is to want to add the interior terms and just call it another radical, it's really, really difficult to do because that kind of violates a lot of uh, math rules out there. Now, the wrench that really throws uh, and ruins things, if you will, is due to the addition and subtraction under the binomials in each radical. If it was 3x or just x, then yes, you can combine them, but due to the addition and subtraction nature under each radical, it's really difficult to add the binomials that are stuck under radical form. As a matter of fact, because they're completely different, you can only leave them as they are if you want to uh, add the radical. So the answer to this is actually going to be that. Now, what are some uh, cases in which you can add the binomials under radicals? Well, the interiors would have to be identical. So here's an illustration. If you have square root of 3x plus 1 plus square root of 3x plus 1, Notice the exact match under both. Then you would be able to do something with it, but not as much as you might think. In fact, the only thing you can do is because there's one of these and there's another one of these, there's going to be two of those. That's really the best thing that you can do. You can't call it square root of 6x plus 2, things like that. It's not really, it doesn't work out that way. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief introduction on adding radicals with binomials.